Don't know how you don't didn't hit play, but that's fine. I didn't want to yet. All right, lift. Turn your foot in. Sink out. You didn't turn it back out that way. Lift, turn, sit, turn it out. Do you feel the difference? I feel, I feel myself landing more firm on that front leg. That's how it should be. Because now everything can get to here instead of out this way. Because now you're, we're landing like this. We're pointing in that direction a little bit. We can't really get to there. And you already come around the ball, so. Hmm. Do it again. All right, we're together. Lift, don't worry about where exactly you're leaning right now, because it's just a drill. Turn your toe, second base. Your butt's turned now, too. Sink to your butt, turn your foot out. Yeah, I see what you're saying. And then, like, live speed is literally just... I don't care where your hands are. You start here, you start neutral. Turn toe, lift. So now just do like the simulated, like your delivery with it. Fix your foot. Fix your foot. Details. Now you're, you're more of an open guy, right? So don't turn your toe in yet. You can start with your toe there. When you lift, you turn your toe. It's going to turn your butt. Nope. I don't know why you keep going to do that move. You don't lift your leg back there normally. I, dude, I don't know what I do when I pitch. Get set. Be neutral. That's how you like it. A little bit open, a little bit neutral. When you lift your leg, turn your toe to and turn your butt, and you can land. But keep your foot pointed that way when you land. Because I want you to feel what you did. Lift, turn, plant. Nope. Dude, no, no, that's like okay, but like start with it like you plant and you can feel what you did. So you know you're in position. Lift, turn your toe, plant with your toe pointed back. Lift, turn, sink. Nope. I don't know why you're so hard to follow directions right now. It's just a simulation. You're not turning out yet. You're here. Turn toe, lift, sink. Stay in that spot. Because it should feel really awkward. I want you to make sure your butt's pointed where you want it and your toes pointed where you want it. Nope. Cause all right, I'm just throwing. No, because no, no. Because if you I'm can't, throwing. if you no, if you can't do this, you're not going to get to where you want to go. Think about this. Your foot right now. Stop getting mad that you're getting domed up. Don't be a fucking pitcher. Be a normal person. Right now, your foot's doing exactly what's the problem with you not being able to turn your hips. You'll land here every time, and we don't actually get to this. We don't actually get to this. It's always we pull across with our arm, and this makes a lot of sense why you feel it in your arm. You can't get to the proper point, and you're always pulling on this side, right? We work this way, right? Look what happens. That's pointed slightly sideways towards, I don't know, a right-handed batter. So what do we do? Our hips can't get through, we can't actually finish, so now this works across us and we do a weird thing with our leg, which you do. So now all of it makes sense with what you're doing. You just showed us why. So fix it. Don't get mad, fix it. I don't care if I haven't thrown in 45 minutes. I'm gonna throw again and I'll be fine, I'll get back to 80. And if I don't, oh well, it's a flat round, I don't really care. Toe. Keep it pointed back on the, on the landing, and the next one you're working to get it out. Point your toe, sink your butt, land with your toe pointing backwards. I don't know what that was. Why'd you throw it? All right, you're done. You're too mentally, you're too mentally fragile to do it. Dude, That's fine. Dude, I'm fucking. There's. Just, do you not realize how many fucking things just, you're throwing at me? I'm not throwing that many things. You are. Just let I'm me not finish. Th my no, no. Just you're, let you're, me finish my. You've pitches. actually thrown enough. You have thrown your pitches. I swear to God. So go over there. You're good. Dude. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. I was just letting you go because I wanted you to try figuring it out. You already threw your pitches. You know what time it is? I got off the mound at literally like 9:50.
You think I'm making it up? So what, what's going on? Do you do you want to try and do it? No, throw your pitches. No, no, no. Do you want? No, no, no. I'll try after. Throw your pitches first. Uh, you're not going back. You're not going back. You either do it now or you don't do it. It's taking you 50 minutes to try making. Just throw a move. your pitches first. No, 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 no. I'm serious. Do you want to do it or not? Because you're not going to throw again. No. So you want to continue to do the bad stuff? I'm not saying that. Do you want to try fixing it? You get five throws to fix it. Stop getting mad. Do the drill. Do the little simulation. Dude, you know how much stupid shit I've done? You know how much pipe work I've done while I was hitting or whatever? You think I want to do pipe drills that before I hit every single time? No, I thought it was stupid. Guess what? It makes a difference. So do you want to do it or not? Stop getting pissed off. Am I actually throwing or am I not throwing? You're not throwing yet. You got to do it right the first time. So if you're here, you're coming set, you're in your stance. You're simply going to lift, turn your foot, push your butt and land like that. So you see where it is and you can feel what your body's doing. When you actually go to do it, the next one's going to be you lift, you turn your foot and you turn it to here. You don't throw. You're going to hold your upper body because you're going to see the difference that your legs made to actually get you separation. I didn't do anything with my upper body. My upper body's here. Watch what happens. And this is you. Turn. Right? I didn't do it. Your foot's always like that when you throw. So I can see how it can be hard. Focus on your foot. Don't worry about your upper body. Right? So I'm focusing on my foot and I'm going to do it. Lift. Turn. Look at my upper body. Right? So watch what happens when my foot gets out. Turn. Sink. It's back here. So if you did Jack Barry, you're fine because you're in this position. My legs are where they should be. When I go to power through, it's going to be this and I can actually come through forward instead of going sideways. But you're getting mad at me. It's not that difficult. You just never work on anything. So if you want to work on something, work on it, but don't get pissed off and say, there's too much being thrown at me. I get it, but this really isn't that much. Here, do you want a ball? Don't throw it until you do it right. <laughs> Turn the toe, land with it. So look where it is. That's where you always get to. Do you want to be there? S mm, slightly closed, so no, probably not. Right, so think your toe's still going to be pointed backwards. Because that's how you land normally. And that's why when you go to throw, upper half's working diagonal across, you finish like awkwardly on your finish. You know exactly what I'm talking about too. Turn the toe, sink, land, nope. You're not turning it out. You're landing with your foot pointed behind you. So you feel what you just did. But the next part is me turning. The next part's when you turn it out. You got to make sure you can do the first one. So now I'm trying to go. You're going to be in have that foot position. Your foot's going to be pointed this way when you land. I showed you once. I'll show you again. Turn your toe, sink in your cheek. Now, look at it. You want it to be back here. I've showed you. You got to pay I, attention. No, I, I, Move. I, I do. Move. Lift. Turn. Back there. The next one is when you go with this thing still. It's very simple. Turn your toe, land with it behind you. Your butt's going to be pointed that way. Why are we doing this? So we can actually feel what our body's doing. So we feel the power in the position, right? Not landing here on the side of our foot. You've admitted when you get to here, it's firm. It's going to be firm and this is going to work for you and get there. Okay. It's got to point to me. It's got to point backwards. Second base. Nope. 
Like, point your toe to second base. You're pointed that way. You're pointed towards like, towards home plate a little bit. Better. Keep it in the position that it was. When mine lands, does it look, does it look like this or does it look like this? No, look, yes, yeah, pointed back. You're not turning anything upper half. I'm not trying to turn this at all. Like it's, I'm trying to stay. It's cause you're pushing your body that way. Move forward, like move straight. Turn it and then just move forward cause you're supposed to sink in that hip. So like that butt cheek, right? That's what's lining you up cause you're just following it. So it's not here. That's what you keep doing. It's I'm following that butt to that. That's why I sit in that butt. That's why I, I tried using like, lower yourself to that cheek. Lift. You can keep this flexed when you land. You can keep your knee flexed. You're not trying to lock that out. You're good. I just need one and then you can do your turn out. Dude, I can't, st I, like, I you can't can. stay in this position. Yes, you can. No, you you're pushing way too far out. You're not going to your max because you're not turning out. What do you mean going to my max? You're not going as far as your foot can go. So you want If you go as far that? as your foot can go, your foot's going to turn out every single time. You did it again. You, you keep going really, really far. If I were to go as far as I can, my foot can't stay this way. My body won't allow me to get all the way out here in, in a, like a, a fast position, otherwise I'm gonna break my ankle. Now if I were to do it, it's gonna be, it's gonna do that for me every time. It's like natural like defense mechanism. My body's protecting me. Just like if I go to hit, I can't physically do that. Kids do it because they don't feel pain yet. If I did, I'd break my ankle. Your knee's still bent when you land. Now that's closer, now you should get your foot turned. Now I'll let you go, foot lands out. Point the toe, sink in your cheek, turn your foot completely. Because that turn of your foot to that is what tells everything to move. Heel, heel strike. And you can probably get more. Now throw it. Now don't baby it because you look like you're thinking really hard. Throw the ball. Stop being a pussy. You get five throws. Don't get mad at me. Figure it out. That looked pretty good. And you didn't get it this way enough. So that was neutral and all that was, was you focused on getting that out. Now imagine you can turn here to there. Your hips are gonna whip around. You don't use your legs. Point your toe to me, turn it out. Everything comes with it. That looked really easy and you pulled it. Was that easier? A little bit. Why you look so mad? Yeah. Why you look so mad then? I had said that I hate, I don't like being domed up. All right, then throw the ball and stop getting domed up. You get three balls. Turn your foot, turn it back out. Wow, look at that. You think you can get an 80 in the next two throws? Do you think you can? Yep. Remember, you're not really increasing anything you're doing with your arm. If you think about anything, it's gonna to be toe to turn, toe to turn faster, because that's gonna get this to happen. 
So you're gonna create your separation, and then when you go to actually pull your arm, this will come through faster because your legs. Turn the toe, turn it out. Oh crap! Did you muscle up on that or did you actually just throw it normal? I like, moved my arm faster, but I didn't muscle up. Did you move your arm faster because well, I, this I, I'm moving this faster. No, I no, have no, to no move that's my, what I'm yeah, saying. I did you move it move faster because this is moving yeah, faster? Yeah, I have to. But like it didn't feel like you actually did something. No. Here. Okay, that's good. Don't get defensive, it was just a question. Whenever your body starts to move faster, everything's gonna have to catch up. Yeah, last throw. See if you can do it. Right? Turn that foot fast. Toe turns back. You're gonna land with it fully facing the plate. Everything's gonna fly through. It's a shame that you were one off of your goal. I don't know why you get mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. Yeah, get over it. Tough titties. I'm going five. I don't need, I might not even need throw because you took an hour. Tough titties. That's fine. Take an hour to do 15 throws. <laughs> so like these last two throws just like that, that's just the pipe. That's why I have this already kind of set up straight. Pipe. I'll just throw a normal one. Pipe throw. All right, Nick. Clean lower half, no extra turning. I don't feel like I'm doing anything. Now, if you have things for me or you see something, please tell me. At this point, I'm gonna slowly keep trying to increase my percentage from my lower half and see how fast I can get it. I feel good and I don't feel like I'm doing anything. So it's like maybe maybe hanging on you know flat ground. Are you counting? Did I'm you going start your five? Yeah, I already started. That was two. Yeah, okay. I'm going to twenty. Okay. Is my front foot short? Like my direction today is like way better than it's been. I don't know if you agree or disagree. It just looks like you're rotating fast late. If that makes sense. In a good way or a bad way? In a good way. No, it makes sense. Everything before has been like, or it's like, 
This doesn't feel like I'm trying to do anything. Like I feel very casual right now. What am I on? Six. Should I get to like 80%? That's like still like 65 area. Might as well. Cause my, my big issue has been like when I go for it, I ramp up and muscle. So take it slow. That's hilarious. What am I on? Eight. I'm somewhere between set, I might be like 75. It's like a weird middle ground where I feel myself working faster, but not where I want to get to. You look like you have no helpful insight. I'm trying to pick, to pick apart that statement. I really got nothing for you. You look like you're throwing the ball pretty well. The only thing is you get your arm up late sometimes, like on that one. I get it out late or I get it up late? Up late. How so? Like your body's going a little faster than your arm. Where's the you arm at? Speed up your, what's up? Where's my arm at? Well, your arm, your front foot's hitting and you're like right here. Usually you're right here. Where do you want me at? So where is it? You just showed me the same spot. You didn't show me that, you showed me. I swear to God, you were you showed Well, that's what I meant. Okay. Yeah, so you used. Was this 11 or 12? This is 11. That was a lot better. I felt different. Like I feel if I went 100%, everything would be like in different positions. Like I feel like this is an easy 70% right now. Try one in 100. What am I on, 15? 14. Let me do one more and then I'll go five at 100. Or I'll do three at 100 and five back at the normal. And like everything was moving differently. And like that, like at full effort, it's like the same as it was because everything's messed up. Because this was like 
early. All right, two more. That looked easier. Do the pipe one time. Good. Take them. Mm -mm -mm. Now, what are you trying to do today? I would like to get to 80 today as that's easily the, as possible. That's like the dumbest, most arbitrary thing I've ever heard. As easily as the possible. The velo in this in this flat ground means absolutely I nothing. understand that, but if I can get to 80 doing nothing with my arm, that's I'm doing something right. Yeah, but I know you. You're not going to do that. Well, we're going to see about that. Well, okay. You're going to be like gassing yourself up and then tell yourself you didn't do anything. No, that's not true. That's your goal. You want to throw 80 miles an hour. It's not about a, a specific feel. It's not about a release point. It is about a specific feel. Okay, then what are you trying to do today? It's not about the number. It's about what you're doing. Because you didn't do that once when you were warming up. What? You didn't focus once on what you want to focus on now when you're warming up. And some would say every ball you throw matters. Yeah. I'm gonna so when you were coming back, half. when you were coming back, why didn't you do that once? You could have easily I did. done you it. You missed it. Oh, I watched, pal. No, I did it three or four times. So three or four times out of not the, enough out of the thirty-five to it. fifty balls you threw. I'm just saying. Didn't really do it. That's one. Had me going. What do you want to do? I'm doing twenty-five. All right, that's fine. Are you I'm going, not all, doing, are you I'm going not doing, all one I'm go? I'm not doing twenty-five in a round. That. I'll do 15 this round. Everything should be locked. No one's gonna know what that was about, but that's fine. Yeah, that's better that way. Clear plan, clear, plan, clear goal. That was like super slow, super deliberate. Is that what you're doing? That's not what we're doing. That one felt slower than the other ones. Why do you think I yell at you when you're doing that? Well, that's why we're here. Foot's not on. Foot's not on. That makes all the difference in the world when you push on your backside. I would just go pipe. 
The thing I was telling you about with the pipe, I would go pipe, flip the pipe over. And you went slow and deliberate with the weird. legs. Yeah, because you did a slow, deliberate leg lift. The thing that you always do that you shouldn't do, because you don't do it when you actually throw. How do you, how do, you do it but move your legs how you want to move your legs? You actually didn't really do it. You kind of just stayed in neutral. You, uh, you're not really sniffing that number. No. No, I'm so not. So what, what are you trying to do then? Like, that was just an arbitrary number that meant nothing well, it's like, at all. That number meant absolutely nothing. How do I want to explain that? You've seen me throw a flak around at, like, 86 flat the entire time is my average. Doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's just like... I know that if I can get to 80 easily on a flak, I'm doing a lot of things right. Yeah, so what do you got to do to get there? Don't worry about getting a number. Do something that's going to actually make a difference when you throw. Focus on that, not the number. Slow, deliberate leg. No arm circle. You have five. You're doing the Jack Barry arm. Fuck. Jack Barry arm. That was, that was this. Can you like focus and pay attention to details for once in your life? So this is the moment where everything you do is very deliberate and you know exactly what you're doing, where your foot is, what you're trying to feel, what you're trying to do each and every throw. Your foot wasn't on the rubber again. Half of it was off. Like something like that shouldn't ever come into play when you're doing this. Because that's the first thing you do when you step on the mound. You make sure you're in position. You have not been in position on all but one throws when I told you to fix it, right? So like, now that heel starts to come off, are you gonna know? You should, because you should know where everything in your body is right now. Because all this is is toying around to figure out where you're gonna get and how it helps you, right? So like, if you can't pay attention to one detail, what do you think you're doing with the other stuff? You might figure out one thing, but you have no idea where everything else is. Yeah. <laughs> There's no awareness. If you have so no awareness of what time. you're doing, you can't yeah. fix it in game. So it's like, okay, cool. You, you eventually threw hard in a bullpen one time. Well, what are you going to do when you play in the game? Oh, well, I don't really know how I was able to get to that point. I just did it. Well, if you don't know what you're doing, good luck when shit hits the fan. And now, are you are you a closed person now? Is that what you feel best? Yeah, uh, I'm just fucking around with it a little bit. I'm gonna try this one open. I know from everything I've done, I'm 100% a closed stance. Open feels a little bit more comfortable. And don't worry about what the radar gun reads. Because I know that's you're kind of a dummy that will use that as your basis. Usually pretty accurate feedback. Not always. Because you can muscle up and throw it. Wow. Yeah, you can. <clears throat> but then you run the risk of lying to yourself. Like, oh, that's that I mean, worked. I mean, are you worried like, about what no, your arms you doing right now? Tried throwing harder. 
What? Are you worried about what your arm's doing right now? I don't feel anything happening with my arm. Okay. I don't know what that means, but... You and Jack Barry arm. Uh, I'm gonna go five and then I'm gonna go. One more. go 10 then 15. Like I didn't do anything there. I did nothing. So what's your focus then? I'm literally just trying to feel my legs do the same thing no matter where it starts. Like, I don't want this to go with that, this here. That's not good for me. So that leads to that. Like, that was here and then through with getting good extension. Now, if I'm able to get here add the pipe I'll probably get like up to like 82 83 without trying I have a ball you want to throw a ball so bad thanks controller like I'm on Probably around 50%. No, I, I'm definitely lower than 50% right now. Because it's like, oh no, it, it, it's probably around 50%. No arms involved right now at all. And like, I'm just controlling what my legs do. But I'm not also, I'm not powering my legs as, as much as I can. If that makes sense. So it could be like, I could be like 35, 40%. So like this one right here, like give me a percentage to work out. 60. Okay. Arms or legs? Still nothing was here. That was quick. That was all hip. That was quick. That was hip. Yeah, you moved well on that one. But like, I feel like I could 100% get more from my legs. Like that felt weightless on this. It was that. But it wasn't, it wasn't it that. Was 65%. It was 65?
Right around the same ballpark. Hmm? Right around the same ballpark. Yeah. What am I on? This is gonna be seven. Honestly, I have no problem throwing like a 30, a 30 pitcher since I'm going 40 pitch pen. I'll go 15, 15. What do you want a percentage what, 65? Same thing. Now I'm going to 65, same thing. I'm going to get more from the pipe thing. That's hilarious. If I was able to actually finish that, I fucking mailed that. Yeah. That was... <laughs> but like, I still don't feel anything in my arm. Yeah, your arm just cast it out there. You're just a little late with your arm on that one. It's also like, I'm not trying to do anything with my arm right now, so it's like, it makes sense if it's that late. It's kind of just dead. 65. This is died. I should pop a couple 90s this week. <sighs> Probably popping on you today on my flatty. Last one. Sixty five leg. Snap that leg. I haven't snapped anything with my leg. No, not being this guy. Are you taking anything away from that? From yours? Yeah. I mean, you got an idea of what you wanted to do every throw, so yeah. Well, what do you? What's your idea? My idea of what I want to do with every throw? Yeah. Well, last round towards the end, it was find out what my most comfortable position is, keep foot on the rubber, not be deliberate slow leg lift. You don't do that when you throw. Do what? You never do that when you're actually going to mound. What do I do? You, you like, you pump quick. You also balk every time, which we gotta stop, but you'll go. You don't, you never do that. I don't know if that like, the, the, the little miming actually. Throw me off. There's something fiction by the way that reality is going. Ah. That was not good. These are warm-ups or are you doing normal? These are no warm-ups. Warm -ups. What's up? Said so these are warm-ups. Okay, cool. Like my next round, to put in perspective, I never felt like I was getting the pipe thing I wanted to happen with my glove side and my hand, getting out the extension I wanted. Could you, like, would you, can you confirm or deny that all of my throws, I was late and around the ball? So like, I, I swear to God, if I go from getting to this release position to getting to this release position, I'm gonna get four miles an hour at least. Because this is stressful with the arm, even though I'm not using the arm, I don't really feel anything. If I was actually going after it, I'd feel it a lot. But if I can get into here on that easy release, it's four miles an hour at least. Why do you think I said that to you? You want me to try to pipe thing? Hmm? You want me to try to pipe thing? No, I don't think you should try it. I think that like you should figure out what's the most important thing for you. Are you banding your arm circle? Because you haven't done any. You're doing Jack Barry, you're doing Jack the Barry arm circle. Cir you're, I swear to God, you're doing Jack Barry circle. It hurts when I try to throw with a normal arm circle. Well, stop trying to like force it. 
I have to. You don't. You do. No, you don't. Just move. Set up in a position where it goes easy. So go low hands. So like try like try something new. Like with your hands instead of balking all the time. Start start like that. Start holstered. Because now when you pull it out, you're gonna have to actually do something. And don't raise them. That feels like fucking dog shit. You got two warm-ups left. You're doing warm-ups right now. You're not even like throwing yet. Now I actually do it as if you were gonna pitch instead of stop doing doing the slow lick lift that you don't do in the actual situation. Like, is that what you gotta do? I don't know. This how, is, how we've already work? been over. We have to get rid of this. And now you're abandoning doing it now. Have you been lying to me the, like the last couple weeks when you're like, dude, my arm is, I'm starting to get a circle. It feels good. Is that all like lies? I didn't lie, no. I then, what, lied to then, you. then what are you talking about? It doesn't feel good when you go to try doing it. It doesn't feel good. Does it not feel good or does it feel weird? Do you have physical pain or does it just feel so weird that because you're not used to it and actually doing it? Like, my elbow hurts worse when I do an actual arm circle versus when I just do this. Well, would you say that you are more of an arm thrower? Well, yes. That probably has a lot to do with it. I mean, yeah. So as you rely less on your arm and start to actually do that, it would make sense if it felt better, but you're also getting out here in a lot of balls. So now you're forcing this here instead of being it's a lot more you know, of a stretch the whole way through because it's going to come out this way earlier. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's weird. It's, it's fucking weird, dude. I don't know. Well, I'd love to help you. I know you would. But, like, like pick, pick something and fix it. You're like, the velo doesn't matter right now. You're, like, you're toying around with what feels good, what feels easy. But, like... If you don't want to be doing when you actually go to throw. I have no problem doing it. It's not good. It's really not good. It's also hurting you. That's part of what's like been hurting you. Like when we've gone into long toss, we've been fixed. It. Like it's like starting to fix itself a little bit. So stop doing this. If you don't actually throw like that when you're going like in your high intent situations. And also from now on, whenever you throw a ball, we're not counting anything that comes out if you pump because you can't balk. Well, I'm just, I'm just telling you the truth. Are you, are you like gripping the ball tight? No. Also check your foot. Details. This is, this is live. Like, so like that right there, wasn't it? Try something now. Every, every pitch, right? Something like feels off, your arm moved better, but everything else, I don't know if you just slowed everything down or what you did, but like try different, like no, try I different try positions. it again. Your arm actually looked good, it was. And it didn't look like it was forced. This is five. Mm. 
Now, it could be absolutely nuts. Do that, and I want you to try something for me. Front butt cheek and toe. Toe points back, butt cheek goes to the catcher, and then explode out of it with your legs. Butt cheek to the catcher, toe to second base, and then you're gonna explode out with your hips from your glute. That feel good or bad? It felt weird, but it didn't feel bad. Try it again, get more of a turn from your toe, because your toe is gonna tell you when you are gonna explode, right? So that was, I want it to be. That is telling you flip down. That makes sense? So it's like now you can kind of time it up and sync it up with your arm. Like when your foot turns out, that's helping you turn everything. Toe second base, butt cheek to catcher. Now that just looked like super late on your arm. Did that hurt? It didn't feel good. <laughs> think here. Like when you do it too, don't think about being upright. So once you go to do this, right, you're starting open. You go to do this. Like this is allowed to start going that way because this is going to get you down the mound. That makes sense? Yeah. It might not work. I think you might throw like an 80 or an 81 if you do it. Like if you get to what I'm talking about, I think you're gonna throw like an 80, 81 without trying. Like you're starting open, your toe can start out because you're gonna be turning it in. Just don't bring your foot over the, like your knee over the foot, right? So it's toes doing that move and your butt cheek is going down with it while it's pointing at the catcher. So it's, and then flipping out because everything else is gonna get to there. And you should be able to get this to happen from it naturally with your legs without trying to do it. Keep your leg low, don't worry about lifting your knee at all. Yeah, and then get your butt cheek to turn a little more while you sink and then you're gonna explode out with your toe. It's late. You think if your arm gets out you're fine? Yeah. Do you think if your I'm arm gets out? Up a little bit. If you think you get your arm out, it's going to be an 80. I'm going to try right here, like as opposed right here. Same thing, just let it come out. That was slow. Hmm? That was slow. Yeah. Don't worry about going slow. Because when you go to do it, right? Right now, you can get, don't go slow here. This foot, you're literally pointing your toe that way, behind the mound, to get your cheek, because that's what you're trying to create. That's like the, the most effortless turn you can create, because you can't fucking turn. This doesn't work for you for some reason, so let's use it. If you're here, you keep going, this toe, turns the here and then back out. You can go slow with it. It's not about raising it. It's about sliding it. So it's, I'm here, right? Because you can go slow now because you're creating that, that turn here. Once your toe goes back with everything, it's gonna naturally bring this and you're gonna create separation of your upper body because your lower half's doing it for you. I can't tell if we're on the same page. Or if you understand what I'm saying, it's just hard to physically do it. I'm getting there. It's very hard to physically do it because I've been used to moving one way for such a long time. So right now, I want you to go back and then just, just stop when you get to like the rubber point. Stop. Turn more. Yeah. But keep your upper body straight. because you're gonna sink into your butt and all your weight's gonna go with it. 
That was, I don't know what the hell that was. Did you think about that too hard? You want me to actually do one? I'm not even, like, I'm not you, so it probably won't work for me. But if I'm you, you're, you're here, right? It's gonna be. Right? Yeah, I'm not doing that. No. Yeah. But like, you haven't actually seen it, I've just been explaining it. Did you see what I did with my toe? Yeah. Do you see how it was slow and then it was. Your arm's fast, we get it. It's about using your lower half faster. Imagine you sync up your lower half moving, moving fast and your upper body's moving fast and you're actually getting to the spot. <sighs> Didn't do it. <laughs> if you want, yo, try it with, try going with your lift but point your toe that way. Cause I, I'm telling you it's butt and toe is what I'm more worried about, not the actual move that I did. Does that make sense? Cause we need something to get you to turn. So it's not about you going this way, right? You don't have to do that if that's not comfortable. Why are you gonna do something that's super uncomfortable? That makes no sense, right? If you're more comfortable with the lift, but when you do the lift, don't do the that, you're getting your toe here and your butt's gonna turn. So okay. it's, and then when you actually go to sit, you're not going to land with it here. You're going to land with it there. That makes sense. Because I know that's going to be more comfortable for you. You're maneuvering that toe. That butt is going to point to the catcher. That toe is going to point to second base. You don't got to go behind your knee. You can lift it, but you're just turning it that way. So it's... Because that might be what you need. It's not a lot, but it's a little. All right, I'm going to try that with Jack Barry. Why are we going back to Jack, Jack Barry? Barry? Why are we going back to Jack Barry? This just feels like I'm throwing sidearm. Why are we going back to Jack Barry? This feels like shit. What are we working on? It doesn't feel good. Okay. What are we working on? My lower half. We're working on it all. The lower half's the lowest hanging fruit. Turn the foot, point the cheek, sit in the front cheek, turn that foot out and pop. Didn't do any of it. <laughs> you wanna go five more? 